It's currently 7.32 a.m. and ito pa lang kami. <laughs> Today is my first day as a college student. So, oh my god, college na! <laughs> Kinakapahan ako. Ayoko pang pumasok. Kaso, wala namang choice. Kasi ito na. So, sumahan niyo ako today. Sa first day ko, as a first year student ng BS Medical Biology. See you later. <laughs> Can you hear me, Paul? Very well and loud and clear. My name is Maxine Siraga, 18 years old. I am from Alfonso Cavite. I graduated at Mater Dei Academy Tagaytay. That's all, Paul. <laughs> so, hello guys. Hello again. Uh, sorry kasi hindi ako nakapag-take ng clips during my first day kasi masyado ako na-excite. Nakalimutan ko na mag-shoot. So, <laughs> ayun. Hindi na siya naduloy. Munti ko na siyang gawing a week in my life. Kaso, I feel like it's not that interesting kasi syempre, more on orientation lang naman sa first week. So, I will just introduce you in our course. Palagay ko kasi... Konti lang yung taong familiar sa course namin. Kasi, alam nyo ba, super kabado ako na baka ako lang, na baka wala akong classmate. <laughs> Kasi, parang ang tagal din bago akong nakakita sa mga group ng, alam nyo yung mga group, yung mga CETs sa Facebook. Nag-post lang dun yung isa kong classmate, kaya doon ko siya nakilala. Tapos, parang, ano, more than a week bago kami nakahanap ng isa pa and then ayun, nung papalapit na yung start ng klase, saka kami dumami. Buti na habot kami ng 17 pero wala, nag-shift na yung isa so 16 na lang talaga kami. Sa school namin which is Emilio Aguinaldo College, Cavite, uh, super dami ng nursing and med tech students. Tapos kami, 16 lang talaga. Parang mas madami pa yung sections ng dalawang course na yun kaysa sa mismong students ng <laughs> BS Med Bio. Actually, hindi rin talaga biology, medical biology yung gusto kong itake na course before. Since I was in grade 9, gusto ko talaga mag med tech as, a pre as may pre-med. Kaso, after thinking and suggestions ng ibang tao and influence ni Heidi, <laughs> Ano, eto ako ngayon because I feel like it's more convenient kasi I don't need to take board exam na before taking NMAT. Like, kapag kasi, kung ako ha, ewan ko sa ibang tao, kung ako magna-nursing or magna-medtech, parang gusto ko pa rin magkaroon ng RMT and the RN and sa dulo ng name ko. So, magta-take talaga ako ng board exam. Eh, baka ako... Mahati yung attention ko sa pagre-review for the board exam and NMAT. So, doon na lang ako sa isang bagay na lang magpo-focus. So, ayun. Nandito ako ngayon sa Medical Biology. <laughs> so, what is Medical Biology? The Bachelor of Science in Medical Biology is a four-year degree program that deals with the different fields of biological science. Students in this program will be able to involve themselves in the study of medical biology through laboratory and research work. A graduate of this program can work in the academe, work in biology-based industries as a researcher, or continue to medical school. So what are the major subjects of BS Medical Biology? During your first year, you'll have General Botany, General Zoology, Chemical Biology 1, Systematics, and Statistical Biology. General Botany is the study of plants including their structure, properties, and biochemical processes. General Zoology is also known as Animal Science. This studies the member of the animal kingdom and animal life in general. 
Chemical Biology 1 is the study of the chemicals and chemical reactions involved in biological processes, incorporating the disciplines of bioorganic chemistry, biochemistry, cell biology, and pharmacology. Systematics is the study of classifications of organisms and the interrelationship among them. And last, Statistical Biology. This deals with the data relating to living organism. And during your second year or sophomore year, you'll have Microbiology, General Ecology, Chemical Biology 2 and 3, Genetics, and Evolutionary Biology. Microbiology is the study of structure, function, uses, and modes of existence of microscopic organisms. General ecology is the study of how organisms interact with one another and their environment. While the chemical biology 2 and 3 is just a continuation ng chemical biology noong first year. Genetics is the study of mechanisms of transmission of traits from parents to offspring. Dito yung mga DNA, DNA. And the evolutionary biology. This is the study of the evolution of species. In your junior years, you'll have general physiology, cell and molecular biology, human anatomy and physiology, biophysics, and developmental biology. General physiology is the study of the functioning of living organisms and the functions of their tissues. Cell and molecular biology is the study of the structure and function of cells and macromolecules. Human anatomy and physiology is the study of the human body structure and its functions. Biophysics, the science of application of the laws of physics to biological phenomena. So yes po, opo, <laughs> may physics. And developmental biology. This is the study of the processes that controls and influences the development and growth of organisms. And finally, in your senior year, you'll study medical histology, epidemiology, medical parasitology, and immunology. Medical histology is the study of the form of structures seen under the microscope. This is also known as microscopic anatomy. Epidemiology is the science that deals with the incidence, distribution, and possible control of diseases and factors relating to health. Medical parasitology deals with parasites and the diseases caused by them. And finally, the last one, immunology. This deals with the defense mechanisms including physical, chemical, and biological properties of the organism that help the organism to combat foreign organisms or material. Ang alam ko rin, konti lang yung schools na nag offer ng medical biology first is syempre EAC, FEU, UST, and LSU. Pero syempre, kung ako, magre-recommend, ire-recommend ko yung school ko. Because I really feel comfortable. Parang ang welcoming ng mismo environment nila and yung faculty. Kasi nung pagpunta ko rin ng school para mag-enroll, parang asaya. <laughs> Parang ito na talaga yun. Marami rin kasing magagandang reviews about EAC. So, ayun. Bukod sa hindi super mahal yung tuition, since mag-take pa nga ng medicine, parang hindi kaya namin na mahal na yung pre-med. May medicine pa. So, ito. Parang it is a wise decision para sa mga students like me na hindi naman mayaman pero gusto mag-take ng medicine. And EAC is also focusing on science-related courses. Kaya ayun, mapapansin nyo nga na super daming pumapasok na nurse and medtech sa EAC. And both EAC Manila and EAC Cavite, 100% yung passing rate for nurses. Last July na nga, ta tama ba? Basta, ayun. So, kahit hindi kayo pumasok as med bio sa EAC, I still recommend EAC. So, ayun, sana natuwa kayo sa vlog na to. And, sorry kung hindi ako nakapag-upload matagal na. Kasi, <laughs> hindi ko talaga naging priority ang vlogging this past few months. Ang dami kong naging 
videos na hindi ko naman tinuloy i-upload. Like yung 18th birthday celebration ko. May singit ko nga pala. These are gifts from Russell Panganiban and Eugene Perez. <laughs> Kanina pa pag dito, oh my god, nakakahiya naman. <laughs> o, sinabi ko sa kanila na kapag nag-upload ako ng unwrapping and unboxing the gifts I received, eh, isa-shoutout ko sila. Kaso, <laughs> hindi ko nga na-upload kasi I feel like Mas masaya na ikit na lang yun for myself. Nag-enjoy ako, nag-vlog ako as in kompleto. Birthday celebration mismo. And yung unboxing ng mga gifts nga. Kaso, parang I feel like hindi naman kailangan i-share yung ganung bagay. For memories lang. So, eto sila. They are open for commissions. Nalagay ko na lang sa description yung names ng page or Facebook accounts nila. I also shoot a video about the virtual concert na inattendan ko. Darren Espantos concert. And hindi ko rin na-edit. Napakahaba talaga ng video na yun. Pati yung meet and greet. Virtual meet and greet. Sinali ko kaso. Pati namad ako mag-edit. Kaya hindi na rin talaga siya natuloy. So... Babawi ako this year, hoping na at least one, at least once a month makapag-upload ako ng video. I'm planning kasi to upload vlogs and TikTok videos to educate uh, aspiring medical students na hindi pa rin sure kung ano yung pre-med course na gusto nilang i-take. So I hope na supportahan niyo ako. Kung matutupad ko yung at least once a month na vlog and mga TikTok video siguro at least once a, once a week. Comment lang kayo below or i-message nyo ako sa mga social media accounts ko kung ano yung mga vlog suggestions and questions na gusto nyo masag masagot ko. So, yeah. See you on my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!